día a día el género urbano género urbano Cracking fools. What's today's date? It's the 12th or 13th? 14. 14? So these questions are oldie old. July 14th. I go back to yesterday. Alright, so basically what I'm doing right now is. I got a server, it's called Discord. You guys can log on to the server right now. It's interactive. We talk on there all day, literally. I have a, a section of that chat. <clears throat> it's called Ask Wiz, where you get to ask me some questions, whatever you want to ask. Um, I usually chat back and talk back to motherfuckers like on the Discord. But this is a way to get them like special shout outs other places. So if you want to join my Discord, go and join the server and ask me a question. Get your name mentioned. So I'm going to go back to yesterday. <clears throat> I got to find a lighter first. You got a lighter, babe? Mm -hmm. uh, Guala says, Are you signing a new artist? And if so, What's the best way to get signed with me? I'm always looking for new talent. I'm always signing new artists. Uh, artists or producers. Um, writers. <clears throat> things of that nature. Even if you are behind the scenes or in front of the camera. And the best way to try to like get our attention is to hit up every member of Taylor again. You can hit me up. You can hit Chevy up. You can hit Will up. You can hit Ludi up. Um, there's all types of ways to get your music heard and kind of get in a loop. Uh, juicy, <clears throat> Ty. There's all types of ways that you could do that shit. Um, so, yeah, that would be the best thing to do. And to also just keep working, keep hustling. Um, yeah. So that was Guala. Um. Bella, Bella Adria says, Wiz, what's the earliest you can wake up in the morning? <clears throat> Full function and after a late night out. <laughs> uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes, like, 6.30. Um, sometimes noon. Uh, it really depends on how lit and what I'm lit off of. If I'm just smoking weed, <clears throat> I'm getting straight up after that. But if I had to, if I was drinking a little bit, if I'm on some McQueen, the night turns into morning. So either I don't sleep or um, I fucking just wake up super late. But sometimes I could, you know, it depends. <clears throat> Try to limit your late nights so you can wake up in the morning at a decent time. Um, Jay Passera says, Wiz, how many joints do you smoke these days? Um, I don't really have a number on joints that I smoke. For me to really figure it out and be accurate, I would have to go to every, uh, ashtray that I have in my house and count each joint. And I don't feel like doing that. My cleaning ladies could probably tell you how many joints that I smoke. But I couldn't tell you. If I was to make a guess, it would be anywhere between 30 and 40 joints. That's just a rough number. like seven questions <laughs> T 
Ty Wisdom asked me if I truly have received these. Yeah, Ty, I see these. I'm checking them out now. Key asked me if I have short-term memory problems. I actually do, but I don't think it's due to the weed. I think it's just because I'm a creative person, and I'm always, like, thinking and moving forward. I'll forget some shit that totally, like, really in real life happened to me, and I'll completely forget it, and somebody will have to remind me about it. But um, I just think that's because my mind, like, moves, like, really, really fast, especially with music and shit like that. <clears throat> I'm always thinking of ideas and fucking pictures and furniture and colors and shit, so <clears throat> a lot gets lost in there. What's your favorite Three Six Mafia beat? Man. I don't know if I have one favorite Three Six Mafia beat. First of all, all of Three Six Mafia was tight as fuck to me. Every album they dropped was hard as fuck. Um, when they in their bag, they pocket. They was in their pocket. Juicy, Paul, Pat, Crunchy Black, <clears throat> all them niggas. Uh, rest in peace to Scarecrow. Lil Chat was hard. Gangsta Boo was hard. My favorite Three Six Mafia beat would probably be uh, <clears throat> Test of My Gangster. That's one of them. One, that's one of my favorite Three Six Mafia beats. Test of My Gangster. Uh, Mega London. Oh, Megalodon. I'm sorry, Megalodon420 <clears throat> says, what's your favorite moment with your son? It's definitely right now, like, teaching him everything. Of course, all the old memories that we have before. But right now, teaching him everything. <clears throat> how to be polite, how to be a young man. Sorry I keep, like, clearing my throat. Them dabs fuck your shit up, especially me being back new to him. But, um, uh... Teach him how to be a young man. Teach him how to be polite. Teach him how to be nice. Teach him how to win some, lose some. Teaching him how to ride a bike. Um, yeah, those are real fun moments. Teaching him. Well, he knows how to dress, but he picks out really good outfits. So watching him develop in all of those areas is really fun. Um. Surprise 94 said any features on Big Pimpin. Yeah, I got Chevy on Big Pimpin. I got Deji on Big Pimpin. I got um Sosa Man on Big Pimpin. I got Spit on there. And that's about it. It's just all gang. I did that mixtape in like two weeks, honestly. And if you were around me in those <clears throat> in those two weeks, then you ended up on the tape. I think that's how we pretty much do our music these days, is we just live it out. Can we get a Wiz and Logic EP, a little... Oh, it's Danny next door. Can we get a Wiz, Logic EP, a little tape or something, hide a day, and then it can buy, do it both. He also is a, a giant project called King Khalifa, and it's all released joint from day to day. Um, I would have to go back and find all of that material from the day to day, so that would be kind of difficult. But a project with Logic, <clears throat> that wouldn't be that difficult. That would be kind of easy, actually, because me and him work really well together, and we're super cool. He just hits me up on my phone whenever he needs me, and I do the same thing. So, yeah. Um, Last time I talked to him, He's working on something real special for the fans. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And yeah, of course, we'll make more music together. Danny next door, I got you. Slow Burn wanted to ask, are any of the other tailors getting Discord? That's a really good question. I'm trying to get them fools on here. I think it'd be really dope to interact with them fools as well as the fans on Discord. So currently, um, that process is pending.
<laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, Zach Pack says, what's your favorite thing to do while stoned? Anything, really. Um, make music. Fucking cruise on my skateboard. Walk my dog. I walked my dog on an edible the other day. That wasn't a good idea. Um, sit in a jacuzzi. I like to work out stoned. Yeah, anything. Anything and everything. Would you collab with a YouTube rapper, for example, KSI? Yeah, I would totally collab with a YouTube rapper. Um, I don't mind uh, cross-branding. I feel like a lot of the YouTube cats, they have a really, really big following. And um, they can use their fan base, and my fan base could kind of collide and, you know, become one thing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with that for sure. Wiz, do you want more kids? Yes, I do. Eventually, in the future. Um, I got a couple couple more years that is just me and Bash left. Then I'm starting getting older. I have to be a just a family man. <laughs> but nah, yeah, I want more kids. Oh, who asked that? Gabrielle asked that. And OG asked if I wanted to do uh, a YouTube in Zach Pack. All right, cool. Making sure I say y'all's name because I'm high. Mm. A bad Fozzie says, what's your favorite city to perform in besides Pittsburgh? Mm, anywhere in the Midwest, like Chicago, Indianapolis and shit like that. Detroit goes up, Atlanta. Uh, Miami's always fun. New York is always amazing. I live in L.A. Now, L.A. is fun to perform in, but the people out here are really, really chill, so they don't really, like, turn up too much. I feel like the places that I just named, you're going to see some wild activity. <clears throat> Favorite spot, oh, K Rat K Rossic Eleven says, "What's your favorite spot in Europe besides Amsterdam?" Um, I would say south of France. Um, the weather's nice there. The people are cool. Everybody's chilling. The clubs are dope. Um, yeah, that's just like a really good time when I go to south of France. It's like, like a little vacation, like. I don't really do vacations too much, but when I'm there, I feel like at ease. I feel like I could just wild out, have a good time. There's no work getting done at all. Like, you can cancel that. I'm just having a good time when I'm out there. Castle asks if, uh, I think that, and shout out to Castle for being a server booster. Um, asked if I plan on dropping a bunch of unreleased songs like I did last year. Um, yeah, I plan on dropping them, but I think I'm going to drop them in mixtape form. Um, when I was dropping all of those songs, I was in Japan <clears throat> and well, not just Japan, but Asia and I couldn't do shit. I felt like I had no contact with anybody. And, well, not anybody, but, you know, I was just away. I was, like, really, really far away. I was over there for my birthday. So I just wanted to do something for the fans. And I wasn't able to, like, be at home and release music. So I just released them one by one. <clears throat> but now the plan is to just put everything in um, either mixtape form where y'all can get it for free. Um, and y'all can use it for y'all's videos and things like that without having to worry about copyright. And then... Uh, do the big stuff too you know the Spotify's and the Apple Music's and the, all of that stuff Denise says any advice for someone trying to leave a toxic relationship my advice is just to get the fuck up and go um, it's, it's like uh, anything else in life and you never know until you do it and if you feel like you're stuck just keep trying to talk to people and don't keep it to yourself and eventually you'll find a way out mm. 
Daniel Harrison says, what's good, Wes? Been a fan. This, oh, shit. Since name on the cloud. My question is, what do you do if someone around you <clears throat> can offer you progress in your business as well as knowledge in the field, but is an unreliable person and has bad energy? Do you ride with them or build something? So, um, I would always say rely on yourself more than you can rely on anybody else. And then that way you surround yourself with whatever you feel like dealing with. So if somebody has bad energy, you know, you might see the good in them and you might see the potential to change that bad energy or to rub off on them as far as good energy. But if that starts to change your energy, then you got to take a step away and think about you and always build your business. Um, there's going to be more people. You're going to meet tons of people. So the better the energy, the better for everybody. But surround yourself with what you can personally deal with. Everybody's not going to be on the same wavelength. <clears throat> um, Blunt Blowing Rich says, you got the best dreads in the game. What are any ways to grow your dreads faster? Uh, try to, like, not to use a lot of store-bought products. Um, try to use as many, like, essential oils and creams and things like that that are like made by a person <laughs> instead of in the store um moisturize every day like your scalp and uh yeah I don't cover mine up a lot of people cover their hair up I don't got time for all of that so I just let it go free but your hair's gonna do what you wanna do Brendan says, when's the next sneak peek of Big Pippin? I'm getting the mixes done right now. So I don't want to um, release anything without it being mixed or give you guys any idea of what even is happening until I get the mixes back. Maybe next time when I get the mixes, I'll let y'all hear a couple songs and then y'all can help me decide what the next uh, release off of there should be. Elite Studio says more smooth tracks on the way for sure, especially on Big Pimpin. Big Pimpin is going to be crazy. The vibes on there, I really feel like y'all are going to uh, appreciate. It's going to be something like you could ride around to for the summer or you could just kick it with the homies and get high and have like a really good session. Um, you could play it at, you know, like a little kickback, a little pool party or something. And yeah. So those are all the, the questions off of Discord, off of Ask Wiz. If you want to get some real good questions and get your name mentioned on Ask Wiz, um, just go on my Discord server. It's Wiz Khalifa. Um, get a name and type it in. And yeah, I'll be able to uh, answer your question for you. Who wants to smoke one real quick? Oh, my mom's in here. Shout out to mommy. Shout out to Deji. Shout out to Kev. Shout out to Busiano up in here. Who else is up in here? When y'all coming back to LA, Busiano? When y'all get back, everything is shut down. There ain't gonna be nothing going on. Well, my comments are like all the way fucked up. Oh, all right, cool. For sure. We all drive safe. I'm about to uh, get something to eat and work out. Y'all make sure y'all drink a lot of water, smoke a lot of weed. I'll get back on here a little bit later. Make sure y'all join my Discord server. Shout out to um, Proc. Shout out to Elite Studio, Ray Z, Tommy Thrax. Who else? One random dude, <laughs> Aaron, Dan's Band, Etchy the Goat, James O'Connor, JC, Kalen, Loki Toddy, Magnificent, The Truth, uh, Slim Newton. Young Chuck, Two-Face, 
Shout out to Erie, Caswell, Dan. Shout out to Batter, I am Sue, OG, Ty to Fly. Uh, Former scene, Canella, Isabella, Mage, Owen X, Ovishin, Pedro, Pot, TF. Shout out to Deji. Deji's in the chat on Discord. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Día a día, el género urbano. El género urbano.